Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most of you know me as ZA Reptiles. So as you can see, I am back home at my parents' house in the guest bedroom, and we are finally going to do Pip's bioactive enclosure. So I'm so pumped. I've been waiting for this forever. It's finally happening. All right, so I have a 20 gallon long, which is what we're gonna be using. And I have it on a paint mat because just in case it's gonna be a really messy process, I don't wanna get stuff all over the floor. And I've got tons of cork bark. And this is what I'm gonna be starting off with is this great stuff insulating foam. So it's expanding foam. Um, so we're gonna be using that to create the background and to attach the cork to the background. And I have some planters to put in for the plants that go on the background. So first things first, I have to figure out where I want everything. And I think I have a pretty good idea. I have three plants that I'm gonna be planting. So I have one, two, and three. And then I wanna plant some pothos up here to kind of drape out. So yeah, and then maybe I can do some here. Who knows, I also leave that as a hide. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. And I want plenty of space at the bottom for all of the bioactive layers. And I have another large plant that I'm planting down at the bottom. So I wanted to make sure I have plenty of room for that. I'm at Home Depot now. Um, while I waited for the expanding foam to dry and whatnot, I went to the rink and I just left the dentist and now I'm at Home Depot to pick up silicone for the next step. So I need two types of silicone. I need a silicone for the background and a silicone to put on the door at the very end. So we're gonna go in and get that stuff right now. It's very important to make sure that when you are getting silicone, you make sure it says one on it, so that it is safe for your animals. Future Zoe here. This is where I messed up the bioactive. I only shaved down some of the parts of the background, shaved down all of it, or the silicone will not stick to it very well, and it will look like crap at the end. And you're gonna wanna make sure you've got some nice rubber gloves on hand for the next step. Like I said, you're gonna wanna wear gloves for this step. Okay, so there's still some white spots, but I feel like once I have plants in, they won't be quite as noticeable. So I will take this as my first attempt at a bioactive build. I'm not too upset about it since this is my first time. And like I said, once you get plants in, hopefully they won't be quite as noticeable. So we're just gonna keep on going. Okay, so today's the day we install the door. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah, so I'm super pumped. 
I've got the background done on her enclosure, so it's time for the door. So we're gonna put it on, see how it looks. Okay, so I just finished putting the door on. If you want to see how I did that and like a little more information, you can watch my um, conversion kit unboxing and review, which will probably go up after this video. So if you want to see how I put that on, watch that video. All right, so it is now December 26th, the day after Christmas. This video has been an ongoing project for like two months, month and a half, two months, two months. So today's the day we're finally putting it all together. You know, I ordered the rest of the supplies I needed. It's all here now, so you can finally just do it. So you know what's pretty funny is when I started this build, I started it in this room, but I was just here visiting my family. Um, now I live in this room. And we're finishing it. We came for it full circle. So pretty much all the supplies I got is from Amazon, except for these. I've had these on hand for a while. So all the Amazon stuff I will link in the description below. So you can also just go and get all your bioactive stuff from Amazon if you would like. These clay pebbles I got from PetSmart a while ago. These are the ones I got from Amazon though. Nice big box of them. So those will be in the link below. But that's my drainage layer. And then You've got your screen that just came from Walmart, actually. So you can just go right over there to get it. It's just a window screen type of mesh. Um, so I put that on to separate the dirt and I'm using ABG um, from Josh's Frogs. I went back and forth for a while on what I want to use for my bioactive substrate and ABG just came really highly recommended. And I decided for my first bioactive, I would do it right and have a drainage layer and then the mesh and then the bioactive substrate. So we just decided to do it right. And now we're adding some sphagnum moss. Literally came right from Amazon as well as did this leaf litter right here. And I've told you guys, I swear by Josh's frog springtails and their springtail food. I still have not killed my springtails off yet, and I usually always do. And then we're gonna use some blue and orange isopods for this bioactive setup. I don't even know how long it's been. I think it's like two weeks now. So Pip still isn't in her enclosure. I've just been letting it get established and whatnot. I also ordered a couple things. I was waiting for it to come in. So the tank does have a light now to help the plants grow. The plants are looking a little rough because I didn't have a light on it. Now they have a light. I also ordered some goodies off of Etsy for the enclosures. So I was waiting for those to come in as well. So yay, unboxing in the middle of a video. Um, so these are from a shop called Digitally Sinful, and they are magnetic ledges for inside of your enclosures. These are like a size small, I think, um, so they are pretty tiny. I am kind of on a tight budget considering I haven't been working the last month. So we went with the cheaper options. Um, down the road, maybe I'll get some larger ones from them, but for now, I've got the small ones just to try them out. So we're going to open them up and put them in the enclosure. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. So basically, a piece of cork with a very strong magnet on it so that you can stick it on the side of your enclosures and have it magnetized. And this is really freaking strong. I can, oh, okay. I finally got it off. So there's the magnet on the back, the magnet for the outside of the tank. And then it sits on, I honestly thought that it would be like this, so it would be like a little platform, but it looks like it sticks like this, which is whatever, she can still sit on it. The pip is small, that's why I didn't mind getting the small things, because they'll still work for her. That was just an extra little thing I got, this was the main thing I wanted. So I can't tell this is real cork or not, or just something that looks like cork, but this I can tell you looks like 
it looks like it was made out of clay but it's like it's supposed to look like wood and there's the magnet inside so the magnet and it's a little hide so you stick it on and there we go so you stick it on and it's a little hide inside that looks like a tree branch so i thought that was really really neat um i kind of wish i ordered more than one of these so i'll probably order some more just because i really want more horizontal climbing space i did end up taking out that bamboo with the moss wrapped around it because i really really just hated the look of it i hated the look of it so much so i took that out um, so that's why I bought these to try. So I'll probably buy a couple more of these. I really like these. So we're going to put them in. See how they look. Hmm. Right there. And those are really strong magnets. Like that is on there really good. Up here. Oop. Break the glass. There. So it's the middle of February. I think today's the 16th and I started this before Thanksgiving. I started this the end of October. So this project took me forever to just finally be done and put her in. Today is the day that we were putting Pip in. I added her round cork bark from her enclosure that she loves to hide in. We put her coconut hide in. Um, magnetic ledges that I made. So there's one. I decided to keep the others for potato because it's looking kind of full. Still not in love with this enclosure, but you know, there's not too much more that I can do at this point. So we're just going to um, roll with it. Sorry, I'm handling Pip right now and she's jumping. So that's why I'm swinging all over the place. So Pip looks a little dull right now because she's in shed. She's not quite as bright as she normally otherwise it would be, but we're finally going to see how she likes her new enclosure. So I'll probably end up redoing this enclosure at some point down the road, but I really just need to keep going with upgrades and whatnot. And I don't know too much like what else I can do with this at this point. So we're just gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna roll with it, see what happens. All right, here you go. New hide, or new enclosure. And we're gonna go hide now. All right, goodbye. So the only thing I'm missing from her enclosure now is a new feeding latch. I want one that looks naturalistic. Also one bigger than the butterfly that she has right now to hold bigger cups because she's a big girl now. She's got a big appetite. So I haven't ordered that yet, but I'm not gonna wait on that to put her in her new enclosure. It's it's time. So she went in, I'll be ordering that. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure to do that so that you see any updates with my enclosures and my upgrades. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I'm so happy. I can finally finish editing this video and post it for you guys. I've been talking about this enclosure for months now, <laughs> quite literally. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you for the next video. All right, next day changes. So I figured out what I really didn't like was that it was really bare and kind of boring. And you guys know by following this video that I don't have a green thumb. I'm really bad with plants. So I decided to throw in some fake ones. So we got her sticky plant up here and then some fake flowers because I needed a pop of color. That's what I was missing, a pop of color. And I like it a lot better now. Like it looks full. It just, it looks so much better. So that is now the final product of her bioactive.